really excited for today's ride because the sun is actually out and uh, I'm going to be doing a workout and Jason is here with me. I did a ride yesterday and I was pretty much solo and I had, I recorded myself except there was some audio problems and so I'm going to have to ditch that, that video. Um, I also had a problem with my power meter and so I'm hoping that today the power meter is reading properly. I was having issues with it um, zeroing out every couple of minutes. I did an effort. It would zero out and then got, I don't know, I wound up getting like a really low uh, average power during that interval and so I just decided to scratch that that workout or I'm sorry that video um, I ended up still doing the workout by feel but that was pretty annoying um, but anyway enough about me Jason yesterday did a an FTP test so let's just hear from Jason how he did well it was uh I guess I would say it was pretty good I I got a very small increase only two watt increase on my FTP. Um, so I'm not thrilled with it, but I guess I'm not disappointed either. Uh, I did PR my 20 minute power, so that was good. And um, I'm happy with my effort. I mean, I gave it a, gave it a good effort. I, I followed my strategy, um, which was to to hold 275 watts for the first 15 minutes and then i was hoping to kind of turn it up after that and you know really finish strong in the last five minutes but it kind of went the other way and i only averaged uh like two, 260 watts for the last five minutes so yeah th there were some positives to take from it um definitely and, and I'm, I'm happy with the effort overall and probably more than anything i'm just happy that it's over with because this uh 20 i've been doing the 20 minute ftp test the last several times um whereas for most of last year i was doing the ramp test and i'm not sure which one is better in terms of accuracy i think they're both pretty accurate in determining your FTP because uh, the results I've gotten from either method um, from a training perspective have, I think, placed my power zones in the right place for, for workouts. So I think that both methods are, are accurate for determining your FTP, but um, I guess I would say the benefit of the ramp test is that it's easier to recover from. Um, the benefit of the, F, of the 20 minute test is that it really teaches you how to suffer and, um, and just, and to be able to ride above threshold for a long period of time. Uh, so that's the main reason why I keep doing the 20 minute test is because I, I like how it's improved my ability to ride above threshold. Um, so I feel like just doing the test in itself is, is good training. Uh, anyway, uh, the result was, was decent, and, uh, but I'm, I'm happy that I'm, uh, I'm done with it now for the next six weeks or so until I take another one. I'm happy to just go back to regular training and not have the pressure of having to, you know, to perform on a test. For me, it's just a one and a half hour endurance ride. So I'm just gonna, 
I'm going to try to keep it in zone two as much as possible today. So when we get to uh, Candlewood Lake Road and Joy starts her workout, I'm probably going to let her just go ahead of me and uh, I'll just catch up with her later. Pedestrian. Because I think I think her workout consists of some VO2 max efforts today and even if I stay in her draft I'll probably still have to do threshold to keep up with her so I'm trying to avoid anything over tempo today at least you know for I don't want to spend any significant amount of time over zone three Today's workout is called serrated. Uh, it is um, two minutes, I believe it's five by two minutes at uh, VO2, ramping up to anaerobic. Yikes. So two minutes of that, five times. And then a couple of over unders at threshold and tempo so it's going to be about an hour and a half obviously because I'm, I'm riding outside with cool down and everything it's going to be longer than that but right now it is at two hours so last week I was talking about how I miss during I miss doing endurance rides and you know I um, there's something about doing an outdoor ride that for three five hours just doing zone two rides there's something about that that invigorates me and the problem with these uh, Zwift workouts is that I don't have the long endurance rides and so what I'm I, what I'm hoping to do is finish off this training plan week 11 is coming up so right. I am looking forward to that oh gosh steep part of the hill coming up and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to long endurance rides with Jason and uh, I'm gonna put you guys away because I'm getting close to starting my workout <laughs> just stopped here to, to get a little fueling before Joy does the rest of her workout and um, a guy who who runs around here he um, he stopped by and said hi to us and he said hey I, I see you guys uh, riding here all the time and so I just thought that was funny because you know how Strava has this local legend thing and I'm pretty sure Joy is the local legend of this road on Strava because she does all her workouts here so it's kind of funny that someone actually did recognize us so we actually sort of feel like local legends today
I am just doing a zone two effort here. Um, just clearing out any lactate and getting ready for the next set, which is uh, over unders at threshold and below with a nice little sprint in the beginning and in the middle. And I thought there was a sprint at the end, but I guess there is not. So uh, I like to do my workouts here because it's relatively flat and it's close to the house. I actually, um, I could have done this workout at Lake Warmug. However, the drive there, it's about 40 minute drive. And uh, it's like an all day affair, basically. A little construction work. I don't always go to Lake Warmug. It's a pretty location. It's just that, you know, you don't have a whole lot of time to play with. It does take up pretty much the majority of the day, uh, just doing an hour and a half workout. So it's just best to do it here. I, it's a lot more traffic than Lake Warmup. As you could see, uh, the road is narrow, so it's you know a little iffy, when, especially when there are cars. Um, but luckily, motorists have been pretty good with letting us, uh, you know, just being considerate of cyclists here. So I got two minutes left of this recovery and uh, I'll turn you guys off and get back to you again once I finish. Workout was hard as always, but we're here. If you can see behind me, uh, this is Candlewood Inn. Let me try to see if I can get a better shot. There it is, Candlewood Inn. And uh, this is where we got married. So um, it was funny that we kind of just rode here and the scenery is absolutely beautiful. So I kind of di did something different than I said I was going to do at the beginning of the ride. I said I was gonna let Joy just go ahead of me. Um, because she would probably be going too fast um, with her workout. But I ended up following her um, because I, I found that when I got on her wheel, I was able to get away with doing pretty low power and still, still stay on her wheel. Um, yeah, it's, it's really interesting how I'm just starting to, to learn how big of a, an impact the draft the drafting effect has um, lately when I've, I've been doing my endurance rides while Joy's doing her workouts. It's just amazing you know, if you, you get a little gap between you and you have to work pretty hard or you know I have to work pretty hard to, to, to get back on Joy's wheel but if I can just if I stay on her wheel and then just make an effort to stay there it's like I the amount of power that I have to do is like two zones lower than I would normally do. It's, it's like when I would normally have to do uh, zone five power, I can pretty much do tempo. Um, and you know, if, when I would normally have to do threshold, I can do zone two. So it's, it's kind of interesting and cool how, how big of an effect the, the draft is. And it's, it's allowed me, to, it's nice because it's, it's, enabled me to ride with Joy on the same day, even though she's doing a totally different ride and she's putting in a lot more effort than I am. But I'm still able to be here with her and, and watch her do her workout, which is pretty cool.
Well, guys, that is it for the video today. I'm just going to end it here because sometimes I get carried away with stuff and then I forget to end the video. Um, heading home now, just doing easy spin and hope you guys have a wonderful week and don't forget to enjoy the ride. Bye-bye.